Hey guys, River Tramp Renegade. Uh, I'm out here in my garage uh, this morning. It's a Saturday morning. I believe it's April 3rd. I don't know. Um, these past few weeks I have been pretty crazy, I guess for everybody, uh, with the coronavirus that's going around. But I've just been trying to stay at home, work from home, uh, do some projects. I got the garage cleaned up, uh, pretty much cleaned up as good as it's going to get, um, just in time for me to make another mess. So. Uh, my project that I've got going on now is to build a little tiny camper. Um, it is going to be somewhat of an off-road camper. The trailer frame is built. Um, I did have my buddy uh, Evan build the frame and he actually used the same hubs as my truck. So I got some other Tacoma wheels to go on the trailer. That way I just have to have one spare. But let me kind of show you what I've got um, and then we'll get started. If you look right here. I've got some three quarter inch uh, birch plywood. Um, this is real nice quality uh, sanded plywood. I've got some screws and stuff that I had to pick up to make this project work. Um, over here in the corner, I've kind of taped off everything. That's what my frame looks like. That's the that's the general size of my frame. So. You can kind of tell this is going to be a small camper. It's going to be able to fit here in the garage when I'm not using it. Here's what the frame is basically going to look like. Um, it's actually built. I just have to go pick it up. Here's the body I was going to go with, but I think I'm going to go more this route. Um, that way I can have a galley in the back. Um, but basically, um, this is inspired by the... Uh, the Dewdrop Alpha is what it's called, but it's a little trailer, my Oregon trailers. Um, they've, they're more of this teardrop style. Um, I do like this other style here. There's a guy in a, a Facebook group I'm in that built something similar to that, and I like the way it looks um, and the functionality of it. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go that route, but overall the Dewdrop Alpha from Oregon Trailer, it's a pretty, um, pretty good build. Uh, they make a good camper, and it's small. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm going to get that plywood uh, pulled out and start drawing everything out and uh, start making some cuts. All right, well, I've got one piece of wood cut. I've probably got a line here. I've been wearing a respirator when I cut. I, I don't do too well with sawdust. And, of course, you can't find any masks right now. So I did have that respirator. Went ahead and wore that. But here's one of the sides cut out. Um, the door is going to go right in here. This is the back. It's going to have a hatch that opens. Um, and you can tell this is this is pretty short, but up on the trailer, it's going to be about uh, nose level with me. So it's not going to be a real tall trailer. Um, I'm going to get the other side cut and then probably the floor and a couple side pieces or, or top and end pieces to hold it together. The mail did come and bring me my hitch. And you can see it swivels this way. This actually goes in the tongue of the trailer. This goes on the truck and it swivels that way. So you get a uh, pretty good articulation on the, the trailer. And the point of that is if you go off-roading and pull a trailer, uh, you can do a little bit more twisting and turning with the trailer than you can a traditional two inch ball. But I'm gonna start cutting the other side. I'm basically gonna lay this on top of a new piece of plywood, trace it out, cut it out and then uh, try to get this thing put together All right, guys uh, quick update I have both sides cut there's one there there's one here and I've drawn out so this is where the bottom is gonna go this is the floor uh, you can see the lines there and then here's the back so the hatch opens right here and then I'll be able to store stuff here I'll have a countertop here this piece is actually this here I've got the other two pieces over here and what I'm going to do I'm going to drill and, and countersink these I'm going to glue it and then I will uh, put the other piece on so once I get that I guess they call it a bulkhead once I get that on um, those three pieces put together I'll probably cut the floor try to put it together and then maybe try to get the sides together so that's what I wanted to show you um, I'm going to glue these few pieces together and I'll be back in a second all right well here is the body so basically this is the passenger side so my my truck will be there the hitch will be there there will be a doorway and then a, back on the back you'll have a little bit of a galley now the hatch is actually going to come down all the way here so i'll be able to store stuff 
down here. Um, but that's it. That's what I've got for today. I'm probably going to call it quits soon. Uh, this is the front. I've got to get uh, finished up. But I got my hitch in. I, I think I showed you that a minute ago. I'm going to go grab my trailer. That way I'll be able to set this on the frame and see what it looks like. But I just went and picked up my trailer and I uh, got the body set on here because I can only fit the body, the trailer, and the van in the garage with the body on the trailer. So I just set it there for now. Um, you kind of see how it's going to fit. Um, I have the same Tacoma wheels as the truck there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get this in here and call it a night. Um, thanks for watching and y'all have a good one.